We've all got a duty to protect the planet and ESG concerns are becoming more commonplace in day-to-day -day business. Um, companies around the world are seeing um, the benefit of including employees in their own environmental efforts. There's three reasons that you would want to um, include sustainability in your benefit strategy. Um, the first is around aligning um, benefits to your corporate objectives. This is something we should all be doing anyway. Um, ensuring that your benefits meet your corporate objectives and sustainability obviously is a big part of that. Um, in our own research we found that 62% of employers intended to do some work to align their benefit strategy with their corporate objectives in the next 12 months and, and indeed 50% cited sustainability as, as a key focus area um, in the management and governance um, of global benefits um, in the next 12 months. So clearly a great opportunity to align benefits to your corporate strategy. Um, the second reason you want to think about sustainability and benefit strategy is just the needs of your employees. Very simply, it's what your employees want. Um, as we move out of the pandemic, um, there's been a sea change in employees' views, what they want from the employer. Um, if we're looking to attract and to retain employees, um, having strong morals, strong values and making your employees feel part of that is something which is of fundamental importance. Um, and finally, it's a great opportunity to take your employees on your sustainability journey. Um, you're probably doing lots of things as an employer, but it's the, about the ability to take your employees on that journey, to help them engage, help them feel part of it and help them feel they're contributing to that difference overall. There is so much that employers can do in order to put um, this into practice, in order to include benefits um, in your sustainable objectives. I'm going to focus on three quick wins. Um, so firstly, it's about holding providers to account. So your procurement process should include green procurement. If you're looking at group life assurance, you may think that's nothing to do with sustainability. But how about you um, ask questions of the um, providers of those benefits and alongside the costs and the service, you take into account the green credentials of that organisation. So you're using green suppliers in order to provide your benefits. Secondly, um, it's about launching a range of benefits to engage your employees with sustainability. There's some old favourites like cycle to work and electric cars, but there's so much more now we can do. Um, recycled mobile phones, um, we can have charging points um, through, through payroll. There's a wide range of different benefits, carbon offsetting that can be included. And it's about offering a range of different benefits to help your employees understand the options that are available, improve their own behaviour um, and make their own difference. And thirdly, um, we at Barnet Waddingham have something called in sustainable incentives. And this is a great way to engage with your employees to help take them on your sustainability journey. The idea is really quite simple. Um, you incentivize employees um, by, for taking positive behaviors. So for example, if an employee selects cycle to work as a benefit, how about you use part of your employer national insurance as to, to provide a green incentive. So that could be planting mangrove trees in Madagascar. It could be removing ocean plastic, plastic or it could be um, replanting coral reef. It's a great way to engage. You select a bike through your cycle to work scheme and in return, we provide a green incentive. Now those incentives are really important that employees are able to track the incentives. So not only do you say you plant the trees for them or you remove the ocean plastic, but you give them the ability to track that. So over time, they can actually see the trees being planted, understand the community projects. So it's really important to engage employees in that sustainability journey. And finally, the power of aggregation. So with sustainable incentives, as an employer, you can add up everything that is happening as a result of the benefit selections your employees have taken and present that back to your employees, aggregating the, the impacts together to show the difference overall you have made as an organisation. And the key point here is that the employees are changing their own behaviours. As a result of changing your own behaviours, they are being incentivised by you as an employer. Those incentives themselves are green incentives, so the net benefit overall is significantly positive. It's engaging your employees in your sustainability journey.